economy is at a crossroads. And Australian workers are working harder and longer to pay the bills. It's easy to point the finger at wealthy CEOs and ask, what about me? But some CEOs dare to be different, taking extreme action to find out what's going on in their own companies. Each week, we follow the boss of a major corporation as they go undercover. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This week, it's the head of Australia's leading events company, Staging Connections. She's not going to let me rest. He's trading in his corporate suit for a crew uniform and a job on the front line. The thing is, though, mate, you're not sweating. He'll find out what's going right. It just fills me with pride. And what's going wrong. There's a lot of pissed off people in this company at the moment. Exactly. Oh, hell yeah, mate. And he'll discover the unsung heroes in his business. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? I think so. How will his co-workers react? when they find out he's really the boss. You were in a bloody truck with me, weren't you? And how will it change their lives? OK, awesome now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Daddy. <laughs> find out now on Undercover Boss Australia. For 25 years, Staging Connections has been at the forefront of delivering live events across the Asia-Pacific region. Anything from fashion shows to exhibitions to motor racing, Staging Connections design, theme and construct events of any scale. With over 70 major venue partners and 1,000 employees, Staging Connections has a presence in every state and territory of Australia. A network of dedicated warehouses and delivery vehicles shift up to 30,000 items a week for its various live events. And at the front of stage is this man. I'm Tony Chamberlain and I'm the Managing Director of Staging Connections. So, Ryan, how are we going? Staging Connections is all about delivering magnificent events. Could be as small as a boardroom meeting for 12 people through to a gala dinner for 1,000. I've been with Staging Connections for two and a half years. It's been a great challenge. I treat this business as though it was mine. If, if we're spending money or we're making a decision, it's a part of me. It's the day of the gala dinner for 1,200 guests of the Victorian racing industry. Dave is busy constructing the set he and Tony built yesterday. This is my show today, so come to me with any questions. It's a New York theme this year, and we've got about four hours to finish the rest of our duties today. Tony is assisting senior stylist Christy, whom he talks to on a regular basis as CEO. Let's move this table out the way. She's very passionate about styling and design. Every time I come to Melbourne, you know, she's telling me how we should be investing more money and all the things that we should be doing in styling and design. So let us, let us hope that this gets us off the hook. <laughs> all right. It's looking Hello. good. Hello. Kirsty, hey. how do you do? Christy. Christy, nice how Nice to meet are you? you. Douglas. Douglas, how are you going? Good, good. Yeah. Here and looking forward to getting stuck into Excellent. it. Excellent, no problem. All right, we've got a few things for you to do. Sure. I'm going to get you up working with the other team uh, up here. We're sort of just starting to roll out our table centrepieces. Um, we've already got our stage up, our chandeliers are happening, our corner screens are going well. I would like you to start putting those small centrepieces on these yellow right, right tables. Right in the centre of the mirror. They're numbered. Tony's first task is to set the centrepieces on each of the 150 tables. Um, so we just need to work out, is it the large or the small? I might leave him to it, cos he looks like he's, you know, reasonably intelligent. How are we going? OK, let's see if we can work a bit faster, Jay. OK, guys, there's a whole centrepiece trolley over there waiting for you to unpack it. Let's see if we can pick it up, guys, a bit faster. Maybe have, like, one person opening, one person assembling, one person cutting, make a bit of a production line. Oh, ten. There we go, ten. Done. Small. It's critical to stay on top of the game at this point in time if I don't pay too much attention and come back into the room and find people standing around and being slow, that's when you sort of have to crack the whip again. So I've got to keep on them all the time um, and be firm but fair. Just making sure they're set properly. Send it Douglas. on the table. 
These two tables over here can be put in position now. The mirror's down. All right. She's not going to let me rest. There's a knock-on effect. There's our staging connections plan, banquets team have their plan, the dance floor team has their plan, and then everything needs to be done in time for rehearsals to happen at a certain time. And this, at the moment, is holding up all of that. Switch back there. It's really quite amazing to see an event of this size coming together and to watch our people pulling it together, watching Christy directing everyone and making it happen. It's really good. Yep, keep coming. Push, push, push. I mean, I'm doing a pretty menial task, but she's keeping an eye on me. She's, she's managing about five different activities at once. And it's just great. It's great to yep. watch. So take that one. So you need to take this, you need to take this. Tony's next job so is placing a gift with each of the 1,200 place settings. They look great, don't they? Uh, I'm just going to make sure he's not making a mess as he goes. Where's uh, Douglas? There you right are. Here. Um, what we have now is a great big mess on the floor. This is exactly why we try and work neatly. If you could tidy it up for me. Sure. Now we have an extra task that we've made for ourselves by being messy. Being tidy as you work is something I don't expect to have to tell somebody. So that's just, you know, that's just common sense. Don't leave garbage all over the place because you're just going to have to tidy it up. It's coming together really well. The room's in position. There's nothing else for me to hang, nothing else for me to place. Now it's just all finishing touches, um, polishing. There'll be candle lighting a bit, little bit later on. So we're pretty much finished. Everything's looking pretty good. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? I think so. Once all the lights are really on and we're in show mode, it's going to be the real wow moment. Right, right. So I'm going to take a little breather, go away, get ready and come back and wait for that moment when all of our guests come in and have oohs and ahs. I think there'll be a few wows as yeah. they walk in. The room really looks fantastic. Well, that's fantastic. kind of what, what I'm waiting for. Upstairs in the ballroom, the Victorian racing industry's guests are gathering and Tony is with Christy for the big reveal. This is, this is the best part. This is, um... This is the applause. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually standing, watching those people go into the room is just so rewarding. You can see their faces light up. You can see uh, flash cameras going off as people came in to photograph the room. Christy, she's just so excited at the reactions. To stand there as the CEO of the company and watch the great job that our team's done just fills me with pride. You know, I just felt, actually felt a bit emotional. Watching everybody walk into that event, take the photo and watch your face yeah. was just priceless. Oh, you know, really? Like you were just soaking it up and loving it. Good. Just fantastic. I'm glad you got to see that. You know, it was quite obvious to me that there was a piece of you on every single table in terms of just how you went about it. It's a nice you know? way of putting it. So I want to do a couple of things for you to say thank you. Now, my spies tell me that you want to go to the gift fair a bit later on in the year. Yeah. I think you should go to that. OK. But I also think that you should go to that on the way to Singapore. OK. Because what I'd like you to do is spend some time in Singapore with our creative director in our business. Yeah. And I'd like you to do that at our expense. OK. To say thank you for your passion and dedication to the job. OK. Awesome. Wow. That's great. Thank you. I really love my job. I think I'm really lucky I have an amazing job and I get to work with amazing people and, and to then, you know, have this kind of reward is, is pretty special. It's actually really special. Company employees from Staging Connections are here to take part in their own live event with Tony as the main attraction. Thank you, Staging Connections. Something that you will not know is that for the last week or so, I've been undercover. <laughs> and it's actually been a privilege to see the dedication, the energy and the passion of our people that are working every day to make every event the best it can be. One of the things I decided on was that, that we've got to go back to black in terms of the, the senior execs 
that once a quarter, we're going to put on the crew uniform and actually go and work on shows because you get a, a real appreciation for what we do and you can't get it sitting in the office. What I'd like to do now is take a couple of minutes and, and show you some highlights of me being undercover. <laughs> Just making sure they're set properly. These two tables over here can be put in position now. The mirror's down. All right. She's not going to let me rest. <laughs> I mean, they're starting to get sick of me because I'm always in the office complaining about shit. The company goes on about labour costs and all this shit. So it all comes down to costs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, the thing that comes home to me is that it's our actions every day that make our clients event and this company the best it can be and I thank you very much for that.